You know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. We got to talk about some stuff because it's time that we talk about some Game of Thrones. All right. Y'all know I watched last night's Game of Thrones. It's the, there's only one episode left after this one. So just this Sunday is the last episode. But I gotta tell you, I had to come on here and do a reaction for last night's Game of Thrones because people are going crazy. They hated it. They didn't like it. They didn't like it, y'all. All I see on Facebook today is how much everybody hated last night's episode. But I'm gonna tell you this. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I didn't, it wasn't my favorite only because it made me mad. But I didn't hate last night's episode. It was, that's the thing about Game of Thrones. Things happen in this that you don't like. There's people that they talk about, they don't care. They will kill off somebody and with a quickness and they'll do it. And you don't like it, it'll be main characters. I mean, the, what the, the first season with Ned Stark and he gets beheaded like the first couple episodes. So you know, they don't care about that. <sighs> Let's talk about it. So it starts out, and the end of last, the, the, the episode before, when that girl got beheaded, Daenerys' side, the, her side girl, what's her name? Who's always at her side, like her hand. Well, she's not the hand because Tyrion's the hand, but you know what I'm talking about with the curly hair. And she gets beheaded. That's when I started saying, Daenerys, like, you saw her face. I was like, she's done. She's losing it. And she's one of the Targaryens, like they lose it with a quickness. They go crazy with a quickness. So right there, I was like, oh, she's going crazy. And then the beginning, they talk about, like, here comes Jon Snow to join her. And the, and the ball guy with the, who don't got no stuff, you know, got all his stuff cut off. He's already saying, he's like, you need to, like, do this. You need to be the king. She's going crazy. And everybody, and that's when Tyrion comes and was like, someone betrayed you. And she was like, Jon Stark. And he's like, no, not John Stark, that guy. And she's like, well, how did he find out? It's because I told John Stark not to say anything about him being the heir to the throne. Then he's going to say stuff to his sisters. Then his sister's going to tell you. Then you're going to tell him. It all started with John Stark. But anyway, no. So she kills the guy with the no stuff, with the ball guy. I'm like, I didn't like that, number one. I was like, she, already you can tell she's gone and going crazy. Like, she she ain't like her old self. When she was give, you know, she was she was kind of like give second chances and stuff. She ain't playing this time. And then they're all going to get ready for the big battle. I bet the King's Landing. All going to get ready for the big battle. And even Tyrion was like making plans, like ring that bell. That's when everybody in the town surrenders, right? And then here co she comes with a dragon. Those things going up in the air, they ain't playing this time with that. She's on the fast dragon. <laughs> She's on the fast dragon, whipping around those things they shooting up in the air, then going to burn them all. They, they ain't getting her on the ships on there. She burned, they burnt them all. Stormed the castle. They stormed it. And then it was like the climax part because she done burn all those things. Those things ain't stopping nobody. But then they come in the storm and then they come with the other guys, like the, the King's Landing guys. And they're like having a standoff with the other guys, like the good, our guys, Jon Snow and, and the other, and the, the Sullys and all them. They're like right here, just, they're just staring at each other. And then the, the King's Landing guys drop their swords and they're like, we give up. Then they waiting. You're like, oh Lord, they wait. When they, ring that bell. Surrender. Ring that bell. <sighs> Daenerys is sitting up on the ledge with the dragon. Rating. There, finally, finally, the bell's rung. And you're like, oh, they surrendered. That's when you know she went crazy. Because she took off with the dragon and burned everything. The mamas, that I mean, that's the part I, I didn't like. I didn't like that she just, she burned the whole town. It's Mother's Day. She's burning the moms and the babies, like everything up in here. I'm like, why is she going to burn everything? She wants to be the, the head. She wants to be on the throne. But she ain't going to have no people under her. She burnt them all. Even after they all surrendered, burned. Then the people over here, the Sullys and the John Snow, like John Snow was like, don't attack. He's telling me I'm on the cat. And then they go and attack those people. So then the Sullys all fighting them. And John Snow's like just kind of to fight and defend himself. But you know he don't agree with all this. And in the meantime, 
first Jamie got captured and then Tyrion let him go, right? And was like, save. So he's going to get it next one. <laughs> next episode, he's going to get it because he let his brother go. He went and got Cersei. They trying to escape. You're, and I think a lot of people didn't like this when they, because they got killed. They wanted like, I guess the Daenerys to finally come and kill Cersei and have like a battle. But they really just got killed by like getting crushed by the rubble. So I guess they want, but that's the thing. Like with Game of Thrones, you never know what's going to happen. You never know. It's not predictable. And that's what everybody loves about it. So you can't be mad at this episode. The only other reason I was at, ma mad is because I liked Daenerys. She was one of my favorite. Now she's done going crazy. But even that ball guy said, like those Targaryens, it's like a flip of a coin. One minute they, they yawn heads and they are right. And then the next minute they done going crazy. You flip it and they done going crazy. <sighs> so. Then, er then there's Arya. Arya thinks she's going to go kill Cersei. And then she's with the dog guy. And then everything's coming crushing down. So she had to turn back. And she's trying to save people. So already she's seeing everybody getting burnt. And she's mad about it. Like she, she's going to be like on Jon Snow's side and be like, we got to take Daenerys. Because she's done seeing where th they burnt up all these towns and the, and the kids and the babies and, and the moms. And so I think she's going to be one at the end to be like, Jon, Jon Snow, we got to do something. But then the dog stayed by and they had to battle with his brother, the mountain. And that guy just didn't want to die. I mean, at least that's why I said that we had to see that happen. I didn't even care about seeing Daenerys kill Cersei. I cared about that's been since like season one. You want that the dog and, and the mountain to go after each other. And that mountain was ugly and he was stabbed in the head and still didn't die. <laughs> so I'm telling y'all. It's one of those things. It's not predictable. You ain't gonna. You want to get predictions with Game of Thrones that ain't gonna happen. And that's one things I love about it. I did not hate this episode. I thought it was right on track with the Game of Thrones. And it has like people like, what are your predictions for the last episode? And this is the thing about it. I have no idea what's gonna happen. No idea because you know Game of Thrones leaves you though like you're not happy. Like it leaves you with your stomach and not so it might be like crazy Daenerys another crazy Targaryen the mad the mad queen up on the throne now you never know it might be Jon Snow and Arya taking her out it might be everybody dies who knows but that's why I can't hate on it that's why I can't hate all right y'all let me know what you you saw it let me know what you think you know I gotta hear your opinions till next time and I'll do a final next week final one